Hi, I'm Tom Haas, president of Grand Valley State University, going into my ninth year here at the university. And today has uh, been one of my, my traditions uh, to come into to these chambers and uh, share a little bit about the, the status of the university and a little bit uh, look ahead as well. So today we started with the numbers and with a record number of over 25,000 students this year with uh, over 4,200 in the incoming class. The uh, milestone hit uh, was fueled primarily by increases in our retention rates, which I'm very, very pleased to uh, report. Uh, we had uh, increased the number of uh, programs, uh, curricular programs, including a Master's of Public Health uh, this year that uh, makes uh, and ensures that the university stays relevant to the students that we're attracting, both at the undergraduate level and at the graduate level. Uh, we are thrilled with uh, the uh, in, in investment that the state's making in Allendale with a new uh, laboratory building that uh, will help with our biology program, that will help fuel then uh, the undergraduate uh, programs in the health sciences, as well as the graduate programs, uh, both here at the university, as well as uh, students going on to other adventures, so to speak, and careers in that, in that area. Uh, we have uh, renovated an uh, old library, the Zembury Library, into a hall that uh, now houses uh, uh, all of our administrative functions. We are pleased because that was made available to us because of the new Mary Item of Pew Library. Uh, now, uh, last year, the first year of operation, over a million users of that library, which has been phenomenal. And also, uh, <coughs> we uh, have just received notice that it was a lead, that's leadership in engineering uh, and environmental design as a platinum, which is the highest level. So that uh, by this time next year, we'll have 23 lead buildings, uh, which is a really pretty remarkable investment in sustainability. And then um, we can go on in terms of the interactions that we have uh, here with the city. Uh, we have eight colleges at the university, six of which called uh, Grand Rapids home. So we are in fact an urban campus uh, for Grand Rapids. We have maybe about 12 to 13,000 students studying in Grand Rapids because they use the Rapid, which is a phenomenal asset uh, to the region. Over the three, just about three million riders last year alone using that uh, capacity here. So it's pretty neat. So looking ahead, I shared with the faculty staff that um, well, we're gonna have uh, uh, 100,000 alums next year, which means that we will be focusing in though in our planning to maintain uh, our place as a school of choice. Uh, we are now number three in the region of the, all the publics in the Midwest region, which is great because uh, five years ago, we were not even listed. Uh, three years ago, seventh, fifth, and now third in the region as a uh, uh, institution that's uh, delivering on its promises, as I say. So if we look ahead, uh, we're going to focus in on a couple of initiatives, in, including design thinking, because that's in our DNA in West Michigan. The whole area of, of design uh, comes through loud and clear, whether it be in the automobile industry, uh, all the two uh, uh, furniture and uh, office furniture and the like, and, and other areas of, of what we think about design. And I'm also looking at internationalizing the uh, curriculum at Grand Valley too. So the two uh, guideposts or goalposts are very clear for 2021. Michigan, relevance, global impact. And that's what I wanted to share this morning with our colleagues here on the commission. I mentioned earlier that we will have 100,000 alums come next April. It's pretty remarkable because 50 years ago, uh, we didn't have any. So that uh, type of growth is uh, pretty remarkable. But that growth would not be uh, realized without the commitment that so many people here in Grand Rapids and West Michigan have in supporting Grand Valley State University. Just think about this. We have, as of this past year, over $100 million in our endowment, which all really fuels access and affordability for students because much of that money is going to uh, scholarships and the like. So I'm really pleased, again, with how this community has so embraced Grand Valley State University as its own. So I am thrilled as we move ahead now into these next uh, uh, years and decades ahead that we will continue to realize that great partnership we have with Grand Rapids.